This is Justin Owings from BirthdaysShoes.com, the community site for minimalist footwear like Vibram Five Fingers, Fila Skeletos, the recently reviewed Run Bronca sandals, which are like Laraches. Off in the distance, you see Soft Star Run Box, and many, many, many other shoes that are making a way into the growing minimalist uh, footwear uh, and barefoot running or natural running uh, uh, circles. Um, although it, these shoes are used for anything and everything, including uh, weightlifting, fitness, hiking, traveling, uh, or just everyday uh, wear for, for walking around town and doing your thing. Today I'd like to talk to you about a uh, new shoe that's coming to uh, the toe shoes market in November from none other than uh, Adidas, or Adidas, however you want to say it. It's called the Adipure Trainer. It is Adidas' first entry into the toe shoe market as you see it has five toes uh, toe slots and uh, the Audipure marks the Audipure trainer marks uh, a, an entry to um, compete against you know b the big guys or the originals uh, Vibram and last year 2010's uh, new toe shoe from Fila um, so this this marks a pretty big uh, deal in that uh, a huge shoe manufacturer uh, is is putting out their own take on toe shoes in the form of the the Audi Pure. So I've been checking these guys out, and I'll do a little quick spin around here. The Audi Pure Trainer marks a pretty solid entry as a first generation toe shoe product from Adidas. Uh, the red and black color scheme you got to love. I am a Georgia Bulldog, so I am a little biased towards that color scheme. The Adipure Trainer is a zero drop uh, shoe, meaning that it is uh, neutral from heel to toe based on my measurements. I'm measuring it at about 10 millimeters at the heel and 10 millimeters around the forefoot, um, which puts it actually right between the Komodo Sport here, which is I think about 8 millimeters thick at heel and forefoot, and the Skeletos, which are actually maybe around. 14 millimeters, uh, and actually they may even have a little bit of a, of a, a differential between the heel and forefoot. But um, being in between the two, they actually come in at about the middle ground as far as flexibility, um, meaning that they're they're a little the sole is a little stiffer uh, than what you would expect from a pair of five fingers. You know, you can see me trying to kind of flex it in my hand, and just by comparison. Uh, you know, here's a pair of five fingers, and they're a lot easier to to kind of bend. Um, toes wise, you can kind of see how we're uh, looking here. Um, there's uh, some toe flexibility. Uh, the Vibram five fingers, in in the case of these Komodo Sports, which are probably uh, middle of the pack as far as five fingers fl sole flexibility. Uh, definitely are more flexible than the Pure. But the Pure is much more flexible than the Skeletos, uh, which are pretty stiff. Um, you, just, you hear that sound. Um, sound is a good indicator of stiffness. Um, let me put these on so you can see what they look like on and, and how flexible they are with the foot inside. While I'm putting them on, uh, I'll take I'll have you take note that uh, the Audipure is uh, again geared towards uh, fitness and kind of weightlifting community. Um, if you've seen any of the promotional videos they've put out so far, they feature uh, people in the gym doing different exercises. And so far, in my testing that's how I have uh, used the Audipure trainers. Uh, I've done squats and uh, some. Uh, deadlifts in them. I've also done some some hanging uh, weighted pull-ups where I take a 50-pound uh, dumbbell and rest it between my feet. So the big you know, half of the dumbbell is up here, and it's running between my feet. Uh, and to see how that would feel. Uh, in, in that case, they actually I prefer the Komodo Sports simply because. This strap actually helps keep the weight from digging in quite as much as this. Um, in, in the case of the Audipures, they don't have anything here really, so, so you just feel that. But that's you know kind of a pretty niche problem to have. As far as using these in the gym for squats and uh, other types of exercises where you're, you're grounding yourself into uh, you know with a lot of weight on, on your shoulders or uh, 
hanging from your arms. The odd appears to do a solid job there uh, of making you feel stable on the ground. Uh, one thing I, I've noticed about them is that for some reason the, the heel on them uh, feels a little bit wide to me uh, relative to uh, other, other toe shoes. You can actually kind of see on a comparative point here just how wide these heels are. I'm not sure why the Ida Pure went with kind of a wider heel, um, but for whatever reason they did, so it's there. Um, you know, as far as toe flexibility, they're very flexible. I, I feel pretty good about the, the general sole design. I think uh, Adidas did a good job with these as far as making a pretty flexible sole. They're not as flexible as a pair of five fingers. Uh, but they are flexible enough to beat out the skeletos by a pretty healthy margin and are just generally a pretty comfortable shoe. The material on the soles of these things seems to be uh, a rubber, uh, the black here, and then some kind of uh, foam, uh, I assume foam rubber. Uh, in between, you see these little crosses. They actually are kind of cut out. So you almost see uh, some kind of what looks like to be a plastic shimmery material at the base of that. Um, which kind of generally makes the the Audi Pure, uh, you know, just have have a little bit more structure to it in the sole than I would per personally prefer. Um, you know, again, five fingers being kind of the standard I have in my mind. Um, but uh, anyways, as far as a first entry into the Toshi market, I have to say that Audi Pure is uh, it's going to be a, a pretty a pretty good option for many people. Uh, if you're an Adidas fan already, you're definitely going to think about want to think about getting a pair of these. Um, the the inside of the Adapure is also very comfortable. Uh, they really did a good job designing these and coming up with an uh, an original take on the Toshu concept that is well made and well manufactured. Uh, it's a quality product from, from Adidas, so I, I think it's going to make, make a splash this fall uh, in November when it comes out officially, and you'll just want to check it out. Next time you're in a, you know, one of your, your big shoe retailers, they probably will all be carrying this thing um, before you know it. So this is Justin Owings from BirthdaySchoes.com. Again, there's going to be a full review of the, this, uh, the Adapure Trainer at BirthdaySchoes.com, so you'll want to check that out. There will be tons of photos and uh, additional thoughts and details about these new toe shoes from Adidas. This is Justin Owings. I'll talk to you later.